Welcome back to NewHavenChargers.com, joined by head men's basketball coach Ted Hotaling following the team's 60-50 win last night at AIC. Uh, coach, you were down at the half in that game, 31-24. What was the conversation in the locker room? Um, you know, I didn't think we played poorly. I thought we got good shots. We didn't make shots. Um, you know, I think the things that we talked about the most, we had a tough stretch in the first five minutes where we gave up 14 points. And I just thought our coverages weren't as tight as they needed to be. Um, you know, that's one thing we've been very good at throughout the years. Our defensive coverage has been really sharp and um, uh, really on point. So we just tried to clean a little bit of that up, um, got some suggestions from our guys, talked to them a little bit what they saw. And, um, you know, at this time of the year, you do what you do, and you just try and do it a little bit better each possession. But uh, it was, you know, just very matter of fact, just this is what we need to do a little bit better, and I thought we did that in the second half. And, of course, you come back to win that one. What's the importance of not just getting a win, but at this stage in the season, a comeback win on the road? Yeah, I don't care how we get them, <laughs> uh, whether we're up in the first half or down. But I did think our guys uh, showed great composure. Um, I thought they just methodically, and we talked about this since I've been here, you know, we're not in a hurry to win the game. And we really, as we evaluate our team based on the possessions, and uh, if we string good possessions together, which I thought we did, especially on the defensive end, you know, easily, it was only a you know, four-possession game. Like, easily can make that up. We did within the first five minutes of the half. And then just, you know, uh, methodically just kind of built the lead from there. And uh, talk a little bit about Eric Anderson. 20 rebounds last night right there among the yeah. best in the country in that category. Uh, throw in his defense, his ability to shoot the three, probably one of the most versatile weapons in the NE10. How important has his emergence been to the team's success? Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> um, <laughs> You know, Eric does so many things for us that don't even show up in the box score. You know, I've talked about this time and time again. He is one of the most intelligent players I've ever coached. Um, but the things that he provides, he cleans up so many mistakes that we may make on the perimeter, whether it's his length at the rim, protecting the rim. Obviously, I think he's the best defensive rebounder in the country. Um, and then he's gotten more comfortable on the offensive end. You know, we force fed him a lot last year and don't know if he's really ready to be an efficient scorer. But I think with that experience last year, he's really come back. He's shooting 52% from two. He's at 36% from three. Um, he's a great assist guy. He's almost one-to-one -one assist to turnover. So he just does a lot of things very, very well. And there's some things that he does better than anybody else, probably at this level, um, most specifically rebounding. But his emergence, obviously, is very important. I think he's uh, one of the most valuable players in our league and very fortunate to have him here and uh, very fortunate that he's very coachable as well. And uh, got guys like Anderson, Justin Exum, but to the observer, at least if you've seen a lot of your closer games. Jeffrey Adkins has really taken a leadership role in this team. I'll talk a little bit about him in that leadership role. Yeah, I, I think we have uh, guys that are really in tune. We have one voice in our program right now. It's great to see guys when we come to huddles, uh, talk about defense, talk about what's important. Jeff is very much the leader of that. You know, I think our guys understand why we win. We put a lot of emphasis on the defensive end. And when you have guys like Jeff, uh, who carry that message, not only uh, the way he plays, but with his voice, that obviously helps us tremendously. But, uh, you know, he, we have a, um, a point guard that has a large burden on him to stop the ball, stop penetration, push and transition when it's there, get other guys shots, and we've asked him to score. Um, you know, the thing that Jeff has improved on, he's always been a great scorer inside the arc. He's been 50% from two-point range since he's been here. Uh, now he's really shooting the ball well. Last night, three for five, and big shots, too. Um, but he's a great leader, great toughness, very, very competitive. And obviously, when we play well, he's a big part of that. And, Coach, you're a stat guy, so yeah. I'll throw these at you. Points allowed, turnovers, free throw percentage. Those are three categories every yeah. coach is really focused on. And your team's among the best in the country right. in all of them. Yeah, How much has that been your focus? Well, we're very proud of the fact that we don't beat ourselves. And I think, um, you know, I, we were in the huddle after practice the other day, and I talked to Jeremy Williams about when we uh, first got here three years ago and, we inherited Jeremy as a player. The things that we talked about the most were turnovers, uh, taking, just taking care of the ball, not beating ourselves, defense and defensive rebounding. But I think what's helped us be really, really successful this year is this. We, don't, we control tempo because we control the ball. And, and the team that controls tempo usually is the team that doesn't have a high turnover rate. Um, but we only turn over 11 times a game. We make a high percentage of free throws. We're getting to the free throw line more. And then on the defensive end, we get back in transition and make people miss. We're best in league in defensive rebounding percentage. Um, and the one thing that we've really focused on this year is three-point attempts. And Stonehill leads the league, uh, but we're second. Only 400 attempts in 23 games. But we've actually given up the fewest three-pointers in the league. So 
Um, you know, the things that beat you numbers-wise, we try and control as much as we can. And obviously, if you don't have good players, you can't be as good as you want. But it is uh, part of what we do. It's part of what we talk to our team about. And more than the points per game, it's really about, you know, how many possessions are in a game and uh, what's our efficiency in that. And right now, we're about a 94 on the defensive end, um, which, is, which is pretty good. And in going along that line, it's become sort of a running thing in the athletic communications right. office. Uh, after every game, we get a list from you yes. wanting to see different stat combinations. Right. Last 15 games, last 10 wins, all yeah. sorts of things. What are the key numbers you're looking for when you break down all these different permutations? Yeah, there's a lot of different things. You know, the stats we just talked about are very, very important to us. That, you know, it's, it's very important to play one opponent. And if you are a team that limits your mistakes, um, you know, you, you can be successful. Um, but the things we look at, we look at the offensive efficiency and defensive efficiency, and then we look at who our team really is, who are you know, against the top teams in the league, the bottom teams in the league, uh, last five games, ten games. Um, so we're just trying to constantly evaluate our team, and then we're constantly trying to figure out ways to improve. Um, and again, there's some things that you might not be able to improve on, and that's, you, know, you have to know your team real well. But um, you know, we're constantly running numbers, and um, I think it really does help us um, coach our team. I think it helps us evaluate our team. It helps us evaluate opponents. Um, and you know, any little edge you can get is significant. And um, you know, I, I do think it's helped our program quite a bit. Uh, looking ahead to Saturday, you know, every game's a big game right. in this conference. But I guess that would make this Saturday a very big game. Right. Uh, going over to Southern Connecticut, uh, what's the preparation going to be like? What do you need to keep doing well? What do you need to do better to get the W? Yeah, in this particular game, you know, they play uh, a very fast pace. They're one of the uh, highest tempo team in the league. Um, so we have to obviously control the ball, limit our turnovers just to keep them from getting out in transition. Our number one focus in defense is always getting back and just getting five chests facing the ball. Um, and then, you know, just eliminating mistakes. Um, they're very, very talented, very good scoring team. Um, so if we can control the pace and, um, you know, get a hand up in every shot and uh, run some guys off the line that are very effective shooting threes, and then obviously you always have the defensive rebound just to you know, limit their second chances. But, you know, it's, it's business as usual. Um, when we scout, we look at their strengths and weaknesses and try and uh, adhere some sort of game plan. But, you know, we are who we are, and, um, you know, we'll uh, go into the game pretty much doing what we've done here these last 23 games. Coach, thanks for joining us. We'll talk to you soon. Thanks so much.